What's up, everybody? Welcome to uh, what is what is this right here? Is this the what is this? Is it the chair? Is it the corner of the chair? Oh my god, that is a that is wide. Let's see if we can go. Now it's gone. All right. So we're doing some supreme drafting, and supreme drafting. I'll explain it to you guys in case you don't know. Um, <laughs> I rather spend nine hundred on supreme too. I am I am a I'm kind of a hype beast. Um, I, I don't, I don't know if I'm proud of it or not, but I, I like nice sneakers and things. Um, Supreme drafting is a way they came up with. You know how double masters, you pick two cards out of the first pack. Well, they were like, what if we can do this for every pack? So Supreme drafting is basically you get in a solo queue, a solo draft queue. There are 18 packs. You pick two cards from every pack. First pack opens, you pick two cards. Next pack opens, you pick two cards. You're building a deck with only first picks, basically. So you're getting uh, you're getting two picks from every pack. You're going to end up with 36 cards total. It's less than the 45 that you would originally have in a regular draft, but you also get all first picks. So it should even out. Um, and then because like then you can just get to play your deck against other people's decks. Um, yeah, the power level should be up there, but it also means you don't have to wait in queues because you're only it's it's only you. And one of the great benefits of this was that you can do it with like two people. That's that was one of the one of the things they were looking for. My friend Ali Medwin was the one who wrote the article and like and and talked about the the format. And she mentioned how like her and her wife were trying to play Magic together. They were trying to draft, but there was just the two of them. So like, what do you do? And this was a way you can take... I mean, it's it's pricier because there's 18 packs. But you can take 18 packs, take two picks from every pack, and go through it. And uh, in this particular draft, there are... There's Ravnica, uh, Guilds... Uh, Guild, Guild, Guild Pact, Dissension, Return to Ravnica, Gate Crash, Dragon's Maze, um, and then the two recent Ravnicas. Ravnica, Allegiance, and the other one so there's there's eight sets total so you're gonna get like two or three of each pack so i am excited join the draft queue which is not really a thing starts immediately oh we still have a timer which is interesting i wonder the purpose of the timer if there's no i mean you have three minutes which is significantly longer than a than a normal than a normal draft i like to get it just right there we go we can Raise this guy up to here. All right, so we get two picks out of here. Novinjian Sages is actually pretty sweet. Wait, this is for the whole draft? That's not... What? Oh my god, just kidding. Oh my god, I was like, wait, for real? That seems insane and completely unnecessary. <laughs> wow, you were really quick with that. I was like, oh my god. Like, we could take Seal of Fire and Wrecking Ball... I think that's probably the safest pick, right? Your Ennio Morricone intro music was so I dude, I yeah, I I it's it's one of my favorites. Signet does keep you open. We can go Novinjin Sage just Signet. We're passing a wrecking ball and a seal of fire though. That's pretty wild. Guardian of the Guild Pack, surprisingly good in this format. But don't forget, like you have to you like so what they mentioned was it's very unlikely to go two colors in this format because there's going to be so many packs that don't benefit that color, right? Like, so if you're Orzov, uh, a pack of Guild Pact is not going to benefit your Orzov deck. It's, you know, you'd have to have, like, Dissension. Right? If that, is that correct? I'm going to take, I'm going to take Signet. Yeah, you're not passing anything, so nothing is going to come back. <laughs> That's the thing. I'm going to take Signet and No Vengeance Sages. Okay. Okay, and now we have... I can't see this, so... I'm going to assume this is... I actually don't know. I don't I don't know. The, it's Ravnica Allegiance and... Guilds of Ravnica? Is that what it's called? God, that Signet pick made me so happy. <laughs> Matthew, I'm glad I could do it for you, buddy. Um, so if we take Gruul Guildgate, it puts us into Is it Sig Is it Gruul and um 
Simic. I do like Collision Colossus. Teamer is the word you're looking for. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Scuttle Gator. Oh, Scuttle Gator is interesting because as long as it has a plus one, plus one counter on it. And this format loves putting plus one, plus one counters on things. So that's kind of interesting. We could also take... So we take Scuttle Gator. I think Scuttle Gator is probably one of the better cards in this pack. And maybe Collision Colossus? War of the Spark is not in this. No, they, they chose not to have War of the Spark in here, and I, I approve. I think War of the Spark's kind of a trash set for Limited. In that, like, you're just playing against Mono Planeswalkers. Uh, okay, so 3-3 Flyer for 6, but it gets a counter for each gate. This keeps us kind of open, because we can still play this as a green card. So we're still just green blue. We could take we could be Sultai. Sultai is the word you're looking for. Arclight Phoenix, I don't feel like it's gonna come back very frequently, but you have to remember that like a 3-2 for three flying with haste is still pretty decent. Surveil is interesting because there's probably not gonna be a ton of surveil either. Could just take Prey Upon. <clears throat> I think Prey Upon will be one pick because it's literally just a fight card. And, like, there's no... We have to go into a different color here. Hmm. Come back from where? Come back from the graveyard. I feel like you were trying to get me into saying, you know, it'll be a little table. Um, it's either Sonic Assault or Arclight Phoenix. Sonic Assault, also pretty decent. I'll take Phoenix. I think if you can put counters on it, it's pretty decent. Oh, Demir Signet and a Celestia Signet. Oh, and a Farseek. <laughs> I mean, this is the only red card we have. Um, I wish all the, I wish all the art was here, dude. I think it's Demir Signet and like maybe Rotworm. I'm definitely taking Demir Signet because it puts us into Salva. <clears throat> um, and that's that's pretty cool. So I'm not gonna mana cost. Um Rotworm's decent. Farseek's probably the pick, right? I think it's Farseek. Melek, is it Paragon 2 4? Put the top card in the library revealed. You may cast instant source from the top. Whenever you cast instant source, you can copy it. Mm, okay. Can I just inform you guys that Gruel Warchan is absolutely busted? And um <laughs> this card was real strong in uh in gate crash target creature gets plus one and double strike for two mana all creatures able to block him do so six mana for that though <sighs> profit and loss creature punch because you think one make one hmm. yeah i'm taking the gruel war chant for sure and i guess we're in salt high Deals three to target player or planeswalker and three to target creature. That's not actually that bad. Five mana is a lot, but I mean, like, we have two signets at far seek so far. I mean, right now we have four instants and sorceries. But, like, yeah, like, it is, it is a third six drop. I'm gonna just, I think we're just taking, what if we take Boros Guildgate? <laughs> And then we get to be four. No, because white's not the color we want. We want to be. Uh, clue stones are terrible, and this is even like not a big clue stone fan. I am a ascended lawmage fan. Three two hex for for four is decent. I'm pretty sure it's punish. Like it's just an instant that deals three. Like it seems reasonably good. Uh, essence backlash counter target creature spell it deals damage to that spell's power to that spell's power. That's hilarious that it says that. I've never seen that spell's power written out like that. Thrill Kill Assassin, decent. Survey the Wreckage, destroy land, grid one, one. Click my link. My reaction when I see two signets. Holy shit, I'm gonna come. <laughs> oh man, that's a solid uncut gems. 
Clipperino there. Tucker Jr. Cypher's announcing Cypher's announcing future career X one ones for X and Cypher's future's toughness. Huh. Interesting. I mean two two guildmate seems pretty decent. I mean we have no reason to go Naya, right? We, why would we get rid of our blue cards and our and our double blue signets? Like I'm the eye in the sky looking at you I can change my I guess the Rakil Assassin's fine. I mean like none of the red cards or blue cards I mean I think the black cards are the best in this pack, so I think we're actually I think we're actually uh, oh is it Signet? Matthew Matthew, tell me about how you feel. Is it Signet? Easy pick. God, okay, I really I really hate people buying knockoff anything. Like it's really terrible. Like I can't tell like again, Ariel Axis, I literally can't tell if you're just joking. But like I have a big problem with counterfeit shit. Uh, Badger, I totally... Oh my god, I went through a whole spiel about what... I think we're just taking Gorkland Savage. This guy's very strong. I don't think Train of Thought's very good. Frenzied Tilling, destroy a land, search for a land. Not terrible. All these lands are not for us. Shamble Shark, though. Look at all these Evolvy boys. Diluvian Primordial. Uh, you may cast an instant sorcerer from their graveyard without paying its mana cost. This guy's actually pretty decent. And, uh, Badger, the, the short version is that there are 18 packs you're drafting alone. Every pack you take two picks, and then you build a deck of 36 cards. You get two first picks for every pack. Uh, you never see the packs again. Rapid hybridization could be fine. Yeah, all right. I mean, I also don't hate Shamble Shark, but it's solid removal, especially if there's like it's it's a. <laughs> I mean, like there's going to be a lot of signets in this format, right? Thank you. T. Ravis, thank you for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. I think Minister of Impediments is real good. This was back in the day when you could just tap a guy to tap a creature. Also, Seal of Fire is pretty sweet. And the eye in the sky. Looking at you. I can return a creature from the graveyard to the target to and return a creature from a graveyard and target creature on the battlefield to its owner's hand. It might be a five color good stuff. That's one of the things I love at Ravnica is that like Thank you. Um a lot of it is there's so much fixing. Snoozle Moo, thank you for the resub. I'm gonna take Minister. And Probably Seal of Fire. I think it's better than Ra actually. I think Rise Fall is probably real good, right? It's got to be better than a Shock. Oh, Carnival Hellsteed. It's either a 5 4 first strike haste or a 6 5 first strike haste that can't block. I think that's probably pretty good. Also, Trans Guild Promenade is pretty OP. Yeah, let's take Promenade Carnival Hellsteed. Cryptborn Horror, where X is the total life lost by your opponents this turn. Eh, that's meh. Rakdos Guildgate. When this enters a battlefield, you get to bounce a guy. It's a 1-4 for 5, so not the best rate. It might just be Guildgate. Take the forest. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm, might be Inspiration Guildgate. I will agree with you that the news is exhausting and kind of rough to watch. I agree with you. That being said, as a middle class white male, I have the luxury of not being able to watch the news. And I accept that as... I'll say part of my privilege. That hover barrier looks nice, though. I gotta admit, it seems like you could just walk around it. <laughs> hey, man. Just go around the side. Like, it's just an edge. You could just grab it. I guess it's Inspiration or Golgari Long Legs. I'm going to take the long legs here. I think having another good creature is nice. Uh, forest walk and pro green. Okay. Clue stones are kind of bad. Enchanted creature can attack or block and its activated abilities can't be activated. It's removal. Feral animus, 2-1 for 3 and it gets plus X for X as its power. So you can just kind of... 5 for knowledge doesn't press, but we, like, we need bodies. Like We need big bodies and... We don't have them, so. Um, hmm. Multicolored creatures you control have flying. More impressive. Is Boros Reckoner in this format? Ironically, yes. I really have no idea what to take here. Could be Woodlock Crawler for the sideboard. And. Oh, what up, winmore.com? Once you go to Cruise, you control flying. I don't think I want another six drop, is the problem. I guess I'll just take the Animist. I don't know. Uh, Robot Mock is actually not terrible. This is actually a tricky pick because nothing. I really can't, I don't care about any of these cards. Really, they're not. They're not great. Oh, Rakdos Carnarium is wonderful. Um. Yeah, we're taking the Carnarium for sure. Any kind of Karu is fantastic. Another Signet as well. Coiling Oracle as well, which I love. Vigian Hydropon was also a super sweet card back in the day because all like your next five creatures just get bigger. Yeah, I, I kind of like Coiling Oracle here. Oh balls! Oh boy, we're taking Aetherling here, my dudes. Let me check my Tweety thing. Um, oh, wow. Aetherling is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Turn and burn. Target creature loses. Becomes an 0-1 and burn deals 2 damage. It's very good. Um, I don't think we need Guildgate here. We have Promenade, Rakdos, Guildgate, and a Carnarium. Mission Briefing. I mean, we have so many six drops. We have three signets, a coiling oracle, and a far seek. So I'm actually not super worried about it. Direct current is pretty sweet. Double red is not ideal. Notion rain seems great. Let's take notion rain. That's a guarantee. Um.
I guess direct current's fine. Oh, I love it. Golgari Signet, Matthew. We literally could have had like every Signet. Wow. I also absolutely love a Vidalcan Dismisser, but I don't know if it holds up. I kind of think we want the other Signet. I mean, I like Civic Wayfinder. I like Signet. I like Disembowel. I mean, we passed a Rakdos Signet, right? So, like... I'll take Signet, sure. This in battle seems like it could be decent. Man, it's good removal. Oh, Electrolyze? Oh, that's bananas. Oh, and a Gruel Turf? Oh, that's exciting. The more of these we have, the fewer lands we have to play. I think it's Electrolyze Gruel Turf for sure. This spell can't be countered. Protection from instance. Okay, I don't really care about that. Yeah, Electrolyze. That's pretty sweet. Gruel Turf number two! How did I... Did I just get back-to-back -back guild pack? Guild pack packs? Also, Ogre Savant is OP. Mortify is real good, but we're not white. Cronark is... Or definitely can Gruel Turf. Three, three bounce lands is just way, 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 way good. We can probably get 15 lands in the deck. It's either Ogre Savant or... Is it Cronark? But I think Ogre Swan's probably better. Oh, uh, I already passed the Dismisser, and I, I even mentioned how strong it is. <laughs> the only reason I didn't take it was because we had a lot of six drops already. I am the I am the Is it Cronarch? That's a good question. Okay, so we need five cuts here. This is a two drop. These are both two drops because they're solo cards. I don't think I don't think we're actually a Roll War Chant deck. I don't care about Roll Gulp Maka. This is another basically a two drop, because I think we're gonna use a shock more than the other one. Well we don't need seven cuts because we have three uh Karoo lands, so we're definitely uh, only going to play 15 lands. Four Signets, a Coiling Oracle. We could probably cut the Farseek. We have four Signets and a Coiling Oracle. Or we could cut one of the Signets. I do like that three of our Signets are blue because we have quite a few double blue cards. We can probably cut Scuttle Gator. I like all of these. Direct current might be cuttable as well. We definitely have to cut either Farsight, Farseek, or one of the Signets. I think it's Farseek. And now we only have to make one cut. Or we can just play... Hmm. <laughs> no, Vengeance Age is good. It's gotta be good, right? It's a 4-4, four, four, remove two counters from something, draw a card. Is that great? I don't even know. I mean, I don't want to go down to 11 creatures. I think you just said you didn't like long legs at first, and then you kind of stuck with it. Because <laughs> I think it's 5 4 for 5 is just fine when you have literally four signets. It's probably direct current. What was that? I have no idea what that was.
the draft is still going. It's true. Yeah, it's still going. Okay, so now we need lands. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, sort by color. Yep, didn't think that was going to go well. Uh, properties, analysis. Let's do a little grabby boy here. 10555. Five, five. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Okay. Well. Okay. So all of these are red. One, two, three, four, five. And we only have five. So we're going to add like one mountain. <laughs> that's it. Uh, black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Don't need a planes. This is three, four, five, six, seven blue sources. Three, four, five, six black sources. One, two, three, four, five, six red sources. One, two, three, four, five green sources. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four. Can we get one more card? Thank you. Blue is definitely the most represented color, so we definitely want to go to four islands here. This is four, five, six, seven, eight sources of blue. Steven, thanks so much for three years, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Maybe we don't need this red source, actually. Eight, nine, ten. This is 15 lands, which I think is correct. Not used to this many signets in draft. Buddy, you and me both. Um... I do want, I want another green source, but I don't know what mana, to, I don't know what color to sacrifice. I think we need another green source. I think we probably cut, we can probably cut this. We have no way to search for a red source, right? So like, it doesn't really matter. Or we can cut, like we have two black cards on turn two. Hmm. This is just tricky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we're gonna do it like this. And we're gonna hope it works. This was an ordeal. A whole to do, if you will. We can work at night by night. We can do the beating. Let's go. This deck is interesting, but I have a feeling they're all interesting. Ooh, don't love it. On the play. Oh, God. Thank you. Okay, we'll keep it. <laughs> Ship these two done. Woo! I mean, to be fair, Coiling Oracle gets us back into this. That was that was wild. David, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back. Twenty six months. That is almost four years. God, where does the time go?
What's it going to be? Signet. So if we hit a land next turn, it's actually decent. If we don't, well... Land. No land, you little biscuit. Uh, the packs are not random sets. It's a Ravnica extravaganza, so they're all Ravnica-based packs. Well, oh, yeah, that's a great Bob Ross quote. <laughs> Absolutely have to have dark with the light. To have light, gotta have opposites. Dark and light, light and dark, continually in painting. If you have light on light, you have nothing. If you have dark on dark, you basically have nothing. It's like in life. Gotta have a little sadness once in a while to know when the good times come. I'm waiting on the good times now. It's one of the saddest Bob Ross quotes ever. We're just playing some happy little signets. You got it. So it's still a two for one, right? Okay, when the summon's battlefield, the creature hunts dies, destroy a creature that will still damage this turn. So this guy can actually trade with anything now. It's kind of it's kind of awkward to have haunted this guy, right? Because now if they block or if I block I can kill their guy. So we're gonna go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, they'll choose the target, but there's only gonna be like if I only block with this, then they're not gonna be able to. It's the only target, so that's my point. Like I can control when I block. If they have a five-five and they attack, and I block with a one-one, it's the only creature that's been dealt damage. So. It's not like there's four other creatures on board that have been dealt damage. Why do we have so few cards in hand? Are you being serious? Just 
just going to play this. Oh, I missed the mold of five. Wow. I'm just gonna take three here. I don't know what kind of shenanigans they have. Why well, have many cards when few cards do trick? Ill gotten inheritance. Card's very uh good. Okay. One, two. This is nine. What you got? Turn a creature to its owner's hand. Okie dokie. Me has a sad. And we're still pretty far ahead. They can activate this. Push it to the limit. Do, 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 do. I appreciate your content so much. I buried my mother today in your streaming YouTube channel. I've been a great way. Oh my god. I'm so utter pellet. I'm so sorry, buddy. I thought there was going to be a joke in there. Otter Pelon, man, thank you for the kind words, and I hope I hope you're doing okay, my dude. Push it to the limit. I push it to the limit, stuck in my head, I don't know why. Did I shave today? And like then I took a shower after the shave. And I'm still my shirt is still like itching, as if like I have a bunch of hairs still, but it doesn't make sense because because I showered, you know? You get it? You get it? Maybe you have bed bugs. Well, maybe. Maybe. Turn a creature from a graveyard. I don't have a creature. I think it's actually better to just cast Fall here. Blue, blue. So, I mean, if they have like a counter spell, maybe we hit it. 50% chance, right? Or they just counter it. They could sack ill gotten gains too, ill gotten inheritance. They could sack ill gotten inheritance and extort us. Draw four cards, then discard two. Okay. How has that new mattress been treating you? With purple? Yeah, we got a purple, and it's actually wonderful. It's Katie's favorite thing in the world. It's still surreal, but I'm making it one day at a time. Buddy, that's all you can do. So they net two cards. We hit two at random. Oh good, we hit a swamp. It's just not very good.
let's let them resolve extort. But we're definitely we're definitely uh, rapid hybridization our own guy. Um. Yeah, that's no bueno. Did they play a swamp? They played an island, so we know they have swamp in hand still. All right. Yeah, Shink187, I actually, I noticed I wasn't on there too, and I'm like, well, I mean, Ali and Trazi, like, they, I feel like they just have this, it's weird, it's super weird, like, I don't know who's in charge of their, like, their social media, like, content stuff, but, like, I feel like they're not very attentive or inclusive. Okay. What? What? Oh, that's, oh, that's great. See, this is what I was talking about. That's what I meant with, like, it's, it's going to trade with whatever it blocks. It's exactly what I was talking about. All right, so they kind of have to ping us here. Oh, that's the thing. Like, there's definitely people with, like, significantly lower audience sizes, but, like, I guess it's all random. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really understand. I'm also seeing, like, teammates with significantly fewer viewer numbers, but, like, getting promo cards, and I'm just like... Okay. Well, I've been making magic content for fucking 10 years now, so... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm, I mean I'm, I'm trying not to be upset by it, but, like, it's kind of frustrating. It's whatever. Like, it's just... It's, it's, it's... Like, I have a podcast. I write articles. I do casting. And I stream five days a week. I mean, well, like, I exclusively make magic content. And, like, if it, if that's not enough to, like, get Wizards' attention, like, okay, I guess you got it. I mean, like, there's literally not much more I can do. So... Okay, that's pretty good. That's gonna kill us. No land? That's not gonna kill us and we're gonna win the game instead. Fuse. They have no cards in hand, oh wow. Is it like radical or totally gnarly? It is both radical and totally gnarly. Your sideboard is so small. Here's your six card sideboard. Protection from green, you don't do anything. God, Girl War Champ might just like dominate. I don't understand Watsi and its relationship with con I, I also do not understand Watsi and its relationship with content creators and I've been a uh, Watsi content creator for a decade. So you are not alone. Does it feel supreme? Well, it feels enjoyable. I wouldn't say supreme because it's not red enough or white enough. I'll keep this hand. We know we got signets and things. Okay. Okay. I understood that reference. <laughs> oh, man. We have a good time. Okay. Okay. Well. 
Sam is rough. Give me a lamp. Prey upon. Sweet. Let's Aye. discard a six drop that we can get back later with Rise. Unstable Bear, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Half a year. Really appreciate you. I mean, the thing about it is, I'm like, I'm not going to complain publicly. I'm not going to make a big shit about it. Like, other than this, right? Like, other than a stream. But, like... It just is what it is. Like, there's... I, you know, I've definitely been tempted to email someone at Wizards and be like, Hey, listen, I dedicate my fucking life to making content for your game. Can you throw me a bone? Like, what do I have... Or if not, what do I have to do to get one? Because, like, there's 300 cards in a set, and I guarantee you, even if you give me a shitty common from, like, Zendikar Rising, I'll be incredibly grateful just for the opportunity and the gesture. Like, what did, well, what would I have to do? But, like, it feels really silly to, like, have to ask that, you know? Interesting. Vintage Cube Supreme seems ridiculous. Oh, do they not know how Hashrata works? They're like, oh, I didn't want to lose my guy. I need to read that too, I guess. <laughs> We're having a good time. Oh, sick. Did you get a shitty... No, I didn't. That's the point. <laughs> That's the whole point. Um... Uh, we're going to unleash it, and then we're going to pray. You've got to pray just to make it today. Oh, well, I got some shenanigans here. I'm going to bounce my guy. Yep, that's pretty good. I guess it's a one for one. We lost a prey upon for an unexplained disappearance. Hmm. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Oh, that's actually a pretty decent draw. Um, actually, what do we do here? We can go... We have three total mana. So I'm pretty sure we go Rise. this guy and now we have to discard probably discard Colossus Collision because the only flying creature we saw was a 7-7 seven, seven, not a 6-6 six, six. so whereas everything else is starting to look actually throw kill assassins probably not as relevant right now so one two three four next time we can play five drop ogre savant bounce their guy and then ideally, the turn after that, we can play Carnival Hellsteed. <laughs> uh, oh, biscuits. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. You've got to pray just to make it today. You've got to pray, pray, pray. You know this song? This is like a MC Hammer song, I think. I'm gonna set the building on fire. I think they're reading all of the cards. Interesting.
Okay. I'm going to set the ability good fire. So one, two, three, four. Ogre Savant is at the door. Go, 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 go. Any land, and we got a bunch of bunch of bangers. And it's like the third time they've cast this guy. Drill bit. Okay. Well. How's it going? Have you seen the two new Planeswalkers? Not only did I see them, I posted them on both of my Facebook pages. So, to answer your question. Yes. Well, Aetherling was a good. That was probably the correct choice. We're going to be steeding, boys. I don't care about blocking in this game. I'm just going to be honest with you. Unleash him. Take the leash off. How did I lose six? Did this attack me? Where'd my life go? We've got to pray just to make it today. Do 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 do. Gore Clan. I feel like we're doing good. Buddy, I ask myself where'd my life go every day. Blocking is for Mathers. None of these things you're saying are incorrect. You got Languish? That doesn't do anything. You got Damnation? No, it's not in there. Put it in the pantry with your cupcakes. You know what? Sure. You're haunting my guy. I don't think they're I don't think they're grasping how haunt works. Cause like now you have to kill my guy. Yeah, I think they're just dead. What do you think of the new walkers? Um, they're definitely interesting. I appreciate Nahiri being a decent power level. Not like broken ridiculous and, uh, and you know like it's kinda of like a build around. Uh, Colossus. You know, like from the X Men. There's Slaughter Pact? No, that's not in this set, right? Oh, yeah, I knew you had that. <laughs> uh,. Shame Colossus Hammer is rotating. Oh, that is sad. It would have been Colossus Hammer's one day in the in the sun. <whistles> doo 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 doo. Boo doo. Does this guy have like an ability that I'm not like reading? Why do I have how would I go to twelve? Oh, they attack me with the other guy. I don't still remember how I went to six. Or how I lost six, rather. Whatever you get what I'm saying. I wanna see them do some goddamn sets now and then without any walkers. Let the storyline be a village. I mean, but why? Walkers don't hurt anything.
Rodriguez saying? I was hoping War of the Spork would get out of their system for a while, but it just ushered a new age of Walker abilities. Yeah, it's true. We'll keep this hand. Got three of our colors. Can you imagine how good uh, Rakdos Carnarium would be here? Hmm. I want the black mana. Oh, one, a one, a one toughness, one toughy. Non basic land walk. Dang it. <laughs> Excuse me. You guys knew it was coming. Give me a land. Dang it, Signet, you stupid biscuit. God, I just have the X-Men th theme song stuck in my head since yesterday when someone was like, are you singing the X-Men theme song? You know? I think I am. That don't impress me much. If you could go back to any storyline from Magic's Deep Past to bring back a character to center an art around, who would it be? Uh, Leovold. Oh, they didn't attack the other guy. Okay. What's the Supreme song? Remember a non-token creature in this battlefield, if it doesn't have the same name, a draw card. That card's B. A N A N A S. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Lock, lock, green, green. Could play this and activate it. That doesn't do anything though. Could just punish this thing. Hmm. I've heard of the Supremes, but you didn't say the Supremes. You said Supreme songs. I guess that makes sense. It just doesn't feel right. Um, should have played this guy first. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just gonna keep punish the fire, punish the enemy up. Considering they're red and green, if they have any bloodthirst creatures, I really don't feel like dealing with it. Well, they didn't do anything. It's a gore clan savage. Do, 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 Oh wow, they just played this one one. <laughs> they played oh this this is a great that was a great turn for us. Good lord. Let's 
See, this is what I was talking about with the Bloodthirst cards. They probably just didn't play that last turn. So we're going to play this guy, and if they try to kill this, we can sack it for like six tokens. Baby love. <laughs> oh, oh, this is a lot of mana. Rurik Thar. Okay, well, we're taking six here. They get to draw a card. We're going to plus this guy and then fight. That's fascinating. I'm sorry for my transgressions against the great English language. Hey, listen, buddy. I forgive you. I mean, we're taking six here. What are you going to do? Well, take six, I guess. Ooh. They're at six, which means Carnival Hellsteed is lethal. Also, if they just play a removal spell, we get Diluvian Primordial. It's just a 5-5 five, five flyer, man. Coiling Oracle. Coiling Oracle. You got it. It's got four mana. Five mana. One, two, three, four, five. Six mana. You got four? Oh, they're thinking about it. They did go to four. That's fantastic! Guys, I will never miss an opportunity to cast my opponent's inescapable blaze. That's all I want to do in magic and in life. Forest walk pro green? For sure, my dude. That blocks your whole deck. Um, okay, Dylan, for sub for 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 reference, um, now you're playing with Grixes. <laughs> um. Supreme Draft is a format uh, that was introduced today. You basically have 18 packs. You are drafting solo. It's one person in the queue. You draft the first two cards from all of 18 packs. So you end up with 36 cards. They're all basically first picks. And you take two cards from every pack. I guess we should have lived with this, just in case we get to play this, but I was really just going to play this, so it's probably going to be fine. <laughs> I don't think there's a way we can play Woodlock Crawler and Simic Signet. If we hit a land, it's possible. If we don't hit a land, it's not possible. Wow, this is a lot of ramping they're doing. So we may have Simic Guildgate in hand. Okay. Um, well, one, two, three, four, five. I think we're just going for the full Monty here. Yeah, there's no way to do it because whatever land we have left, we're going to filter into the Signet. So we'd have to have a Demir. Oh my God, I'm an idiot. Terrible. Absolutely terrible planning on my part. He's not a smart man. Yeah, it puts us to six, though, so we can Carnival Hellsteed. Thank you. 
Dylan Mace with the resub. Welcome back, even though you didn't know how to you didn't know how to address the Supremes. That's okay. Yep, knew they had that guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can also play Carnival Healthy just attack, which is kind of better because it lets us play two things next turn. I kind of like that. Doubles Matters is a ridiculous product! I had the caps lock on. I'm going to just win this race for sure. So we're just going to go... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we can go 5 and 2. Or we can go 5 and prey upon this guy, which I probably think that's better. Get out of here, buddy. Did I take six? <gasps> no, they don't. Okay. Well, now I wish I played Woodlock Crawler, but... Man, this Woodlock Crawler is just not going to get down. Thank you! I feel like we missed like seven points with this Woodlock Crawler. I want to be honest. Or, like, that's not even possible because it's a 2-1. Um, like eight, let's say. I think that's been a, a real a real mistake this game. T Bombadil, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. I appreciate you. Welcome back. Okay. Well, that's a thing. I mean now we can just play long legs and woodlock crawler, and that's not bad. One, two, three, four. God, this woodlock crawler's been like just so even if they block the long legs they take five Wait, what did Tiger Knight say? What's going on? <laughs> no, Dylan, when you subscribe, other people sometimes get emotes. So Twitch will pop up and be like, hey, would you like to thank the person who subscribed for this emote? So they block here, they take three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They have two cards. I'm feeling okay about this. Foolishly, I'm sure. All right, see what happens. Well, we're in blockers. Yep, figured you'd attack that. You'd block that guy. Oh, you got a. Of course, you have another card. No, you. Oh, they take six. They're fucking, they just killed themselves. <laughs> Rorik Thar is a hell of a drug, dude. Holy shit. Oh, man. That's wonderful. And they disconnect. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I was just like, well, I mean, Rorik Thar kind of locks us, locks them out of winning the game because they can't actually cast removal. They can't cast pump spells. So they get to attack for six next turn after going to like one, but like, good luck closing out the game with a Rurik Thar. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! Wild.
Uh, this hand seems great. I wish I was on the draw, or on the play, rather. <sighs> Dang it. Being on the draw with uh, Bounce Lands is terrible, because you just have to discard. Okay, if we hit a regular land, though, we're in good shape, because then we just get to go regular land Signet. Oh my god, there's so many good lands in this format. Regular land Signet. Yes. I'll take it. Take it. I mean, ideally, we draw Signet. We can go Signet Gruel Turf, right? Like, that's pretty good. Oh, what up, Bjorn? What is Supreme Draft? Oh my god. Oh, like it. Like it. That is a play. Oh, Trans Guild Promenade with the one floating? Oh my god. How do we do it? How do we do it? That was fantastic. Oh my god. Thank you. Oh, Dylan Mace with a gifted sub. Look, see. Dylan Mace gifts Dylan Mace gifts for shared rewards to five others in chat. That's what it says. One, two, three, four, five. Next turn we have six mana. You play Simic Guild Mage, huh? It's not a great one. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. I think we should just Hellsteed as a fat idiot. And, you know, don't give a shit about blocking. This guy never wants to block, dude. Wow, sorry about all the confusion. Dylan, it's fine, dude. Don't worry. <laughs> oh my god, he's so sensitive today. Just don't like him. Conclave. Whatever, my damage is done. Oh, really? You're not attacking with the Simic Guild Mage? I'm fascinated. Two, three, four, five, seven. Seven mana. So we can only do one thing here. <laughs> you have given Snarky the infinite. Wow, I didn't know the infinite was yours to give. That's really impressive. I guess we'll just... No, we have to use double blue here, so... Yeah, we'll just play this guy. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. We can graft onto, like, a phoenix next turn. Play him as a man. Two, three, four, five mana. God, bounce lines are so much better than anything else. Destroy a creature. Well, I get to draw two. That's pretty cool. Ooh, Electrolyze. I guess we got the point. Yep, take two again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven mana. Unfortunately, our bottleneck is... Red mana. Maybe we'll hit a red? We did not hit a red. No, it's not. What am I talking about? How are they at eight? Where does our life totals keep going? They took two from Blood Crypt. Oh, because we hit him with the stupid charger. He's not stupid. He's wonderful. Gonna attend to the pooper room. He's gonna he's gonna drop a little duke. Uh, 
There are three? So they're basically just dead. They're literally dead to punish the enemy? Okay. And they have two mana up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that'll do. With your current hand, you can actually bring Phoenix back. Think about it. Oh, with this, this, and this? Yeah, actually, that's that's hilarious. Or you can just bolt them. We're going to go with the bolt. Um, I think Woodlock Crawler is probably decent again. I also think playing 41 cards is just fine because I am a little crazy. Let's just play 41. That's fine with me. Well, that's not going to do it. That? Oh my god. Oh, this is Guildgate, though. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Let's put Guild Mage back. Terrarian. Well, we can't cast Oracle, but we can cast Woodlot Crawler. Ancient Stirring, not eight months, buddy. Thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate you, my dude. Hands are shaking cold. And even when your hope is good. You guys know the song? It's on the radio a lot. And that's pretty much why I hear it. Oh, they missed the land drop. We did not. Is it Minister or is it Woodlog Crawler? I feel like it's actually Woodlog Crawler. You'd think he's going to do more more heavy lifting. Next turn we can Notion Rain to hit a land if we don't hit one. Uh, I don't know what Gavin showed off on his channel, but it is a new draft format that they premiered today. Oh, they're just missing mono land drops. This is pretty wild. 3-0 in our first Supreme Draft. Thank you guys for watching. Check out ManaTraders.com if you guys are interested in a sweet subscription service from Magic Online. I'm going to open this treasure chest. Uh, you can get 20% off the first three months of any subscription with a link and promo code down below. Promo code is RATTRAIN. And uh, you can also hit me up on Patreon. I have two of these. Let's see what we got. Everquill Phoenix promo and a Kamal's Druidic Val. Okay, okay. And then, what else we got? An island, a Hi Hydar Rhyme Wind Master, and a Lightning Core Excavator. That's garbage. What are these three? Open them all. One Nickel Bolas Planeswalker, which I love. One Planes, and one Liliana Death Mage. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Patreon.com slash Frank Cool stuff, Inc. every Wednesday. Had an article go up today. Check that out, and I'll see you next time.